Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, we just got some motherfucking water. Yeah, we filled that pitcher up to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Probably already read that, but fuck it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kiki chan, do you like oolong tea? Aw, oh, girl. <laughs> that shit's like water that's been in other people's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I like oolong. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't like green tea. I, I don't like green tea either. Green tea tastes like mulch. I feel like I've had oolong tea, but I don't think I enjoy it. You I don't remember. You have though. oolong tea still. I believe it. Okay. Okay, continuing on. Ah, yeah, but no. <laughs> Anything is fine, but it's not. Very well. Mary sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Oh, they have an actual like temperature setting on their kettle? That's must be yes, a fancy so. damn kettle. Probably less fancy. Probably True. standard settings. True. Now it's time to get the teapot. <coughs> now it's time to get the teapot. No. <laughs> that might be like confusing. Just like imagine like actually being in the world of this. And just like experience it with the characters, and then suddenly Yuri starts talking in a different voice, and it's like cough, cough. No, it's time to get <laughs> just like that would be confusing. Yeah, glitch in the matrix. <laughs> you really do this properly, don't you? Of course, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Woohoo! <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Huh, perhaps I will. I know you're supposed to filter the water. Putting it into a kettle. I think I know it's a lie. I mean, it makes sense, actually. I think it doesn't. I think that's something I don't do. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. That's so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. She got her eyes closed like that, she looks like she's about to get hit in the face or something. <laughs> she's just bracing? Yeah. <laughs> ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Kiki-chan. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri was kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I'll watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Kiki-chan, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little easier on my back. My back hurts a lot you know, from having large tits. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain frequently, or fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. I mean, frequently would have worked for that too, but... Yeah, but frequently, regularly? Well, I'm just saying, like, if you would have just been, like, Frequently, so do I, so I do my best to manage it, then, like, I would have accepted that, because basic same concept. But I was reading the word. And then your brain did something else, I understand. Yeah. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh... uh my... Your posture, right? 
winks with both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Always hunched over like that while reading. Oh uh, yeah, posture. <laughs> I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should uh, sit on the floor. Fair enough. <laughs> God, our character is oblivious as fuck. Apparently. I more think that he was giving her an out on that. You'd like to think that. You're right. Isn't the, isn't the anime guy, like, always just, like, super, like, What? What? What's going on? <laughs> Whales. <laughs> Whales? <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Huh. I have some chocolate as well. A bag of small chocolate candies that I kept in, hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Candy radar? <laughs> yeah. It's like the Dragon Ball radar, but for chocolate. No. Blinks. All women have that. those? Yes. Oh. But if you cover the chocolate, it muffles the <laughs> It <signal>. dampens it. <laughs> yeah. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Here and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Oh? <laughs> Here he slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... She's being less apprehensive. It's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate... Fumble with... yeah, the chocolate wrapper. I thought I was going to say a chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. I'm trying to watch my figure. Eh, are, are, are you sure? Well... If I touch it, I might get smudges on the pages. Ah. Right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? We're just gonna end up feeding her some. I don't understand why she can't hold the wrapper and then take bites off of it. Well, I assume that they're small chocolate candies. Maybe... I don't know, like, but they're wrapped. I'm not sure why you can't open the wrapper and then use the wrapper just to put it in your mouth. Yeah, right? So, I don't know. Always complicating things. I think I those books. No one else is gonna do it. It's a rainstorm, Mary. Not a hurricane. <laughs> Alright. Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any... have any harder of a time reading it from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. 
I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Oh, there's chocolate in her mouth now. Oh, yeah, there is. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Oh, she let drop. Kiki charm. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's... Well... You were just... Helping. That's something that... Friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah! <laughs> that's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. I... I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. Looks like the same expression as before. I'm gonna be quite honest. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Yes? Yes. What? That is <laughs> what kind what... of statement is that? Like, yeah, no, that's how, that's how breathing works. Probably just meaning that he noticed her breasts are moving. We're acutely aware of her body. Oh, she's blushing now. She is blushing now, and she still has that little nervous sweat drop. I raise my arm. Uh... Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. God, that's some weird-looking chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. I fill her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just terrify them. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. shit, I clicked out of the game. Okay, gotta make sure this is still going. What? Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Yuri jolts back. It's time to share bombs! Oh, yeah. Kiki-chan, <laughs> you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. The spell is abruptly broken. Well, uh, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much of as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Right. Who should we show our poem to first? Uh, Yuri. You want to do Yuri first? Sure. Okay. Let's see what you've written <clears throat> for today. Harry stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you... like it? Thank you, Chan. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How do you even pick up something this quick? Pick up on this so quickly. Just yesterday I was telling you about the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try and give it more imagery. Very visibly swallows. 
Even her hand appears sweaty. Does it? I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I off I offer that patient patience patience to her. Oh no! God damn it! I clicked out of the game again. You're the best. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me uh, really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writings before? Your face. <laughs> just like... Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, yeah, Yuri nods. Uh... Even your close friends? Especially them. Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. All right. Well, we're out of time for this one. We'll be back in the next one to hear Yuri's poem. I'm excited. Yeah, more ghost imagery. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.